Thank you, sir. Mr. Palmer, you're next. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, Mr. Uh, Secretary James, at a hearing on the Oversight Committee um, last year, um, I requested a list of outstanding feasibility studies by the Corps, and after waiting nearly nine months, uh, I, I received a list of 97 studies. And the, the thing that concerns me about this is that 36 of those studies are over five years long and still ongoing, as far as I can tell. 22 are over 10 years long, 15 are over 16 years long, and four of them are 20 years uh, older. And there, there are others that, for some reason, um, uh, Merganza uh, down in Louisiana has been uh, being studied since 1992 and, and apparently spent about $75 million on it. There are a couple of other st studies, uh, questions that I raised in that hearing last year. Uh, West Shore, which had been studied over 40 years, it's not on the list because it's now under construction. And the Comete River, there was, uh, since 1983, they'd been studying building a diversion canal from the Comete River over to the Lily Bayou for flood uh, mitigation in the event of a 100-year, 500-year flood. And uh, it is now under construction, but only after they had a catastrophic flood event. Um, under WARDA 2014, it limit, uh, in an attempt to reduce the time and cost of these studies, there were limits put on the core of three years and $3 million. Uh, these five-year and older studies, 36 of them, uh, run over $140 million. Uh, are you aware of that? I wasn't aware of the uh the number or the amount of money. I am aware of the fact that the core on, that are introducing studies is three by three by three mm -hmm. are coming to me for waivers more often than I feel uh, we should be doing that. If it's a three by three by three, good. If it's not, don't call it that up front. Well, the law and, requires that it's three years, $3 million. Sir? The, uh, the, WARDA that was passed in 2014 requires three years, $3 million. Now, you, in response to a question, by the way, Madam Chairman, 17 of these long-term studies are in California, and 23 of them are New York and, and New Jersey, uh, eight of which are related to Sandy. But you uh, responded earlier to a gentleman who asked you uh, a question. You said that you're a civil engineer. I worked for two international engineering companies prior to running a think tank. And uh, you and I both know that if we were running an engineering company and we went out for bid on a project and, 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 and had these kind of results in terms of uh, coming up with uh, a design for a, a plant or, or, or any a water system for that matter, we'd be out of business. Uh, would you like to respond to that? I didn't say engineer? I like it. I, but I want to know what you're going to do about it. That's what I work at every day, sir. That's what takes up my time. That's what keeps me up at night. I came here with the understanding and desire to help the Corps change themselves through their processes. If they can get the money, then get it done. And I'm still working on that. Well, as long as I stay here, I will continue to work on that. Do not take this as, uh, as an attack against you, sir. I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I appreciate the fact that you're an engineer because I, I know you're very linear in your thinking and very analytical, but we're facing some serious situations around the country right now. We heard uh, Representative Boss talk about this. We've heard uh, the chairwoman talk about it. And I think some of the issues that we're dealing with is because the Corps is still studying the problem and not uh, doing the project. And that's what happened in Louisiana. It's gonna happen in some other places if, if the core keeps studying and doesn't start building. And I'm not attacking the core either. I'm just saying there, uh, there's issues out there that we need to address. And instead of someone making a career out of a, a project study, it might be better if we start turning some dirt. You well, I can read you my opening statement and just exactly what you said's in it. And that's how I feel about this. 
I came here. I didn't come here for any other reason. Well, I appreciate this that. This is what I'm trying to do, sir. And I, I, will, I will offer this. Any ideas or even if, uh, invite me over to your office just to discuss this. I'll be happy to. Well, I'd be happy to go over the list of projects with you. And I think the members from California and, and some of these other places that are in harm's way uh, um, might well, I'd be I'd in be more way. interested uh, in your your thoughts about the solution rather than seeing the list that hadn't been done right. Uh, be, I'd be happy to discuss that. I'd be happy to meet with you about it. Madam Chairman, I yield back.